This is my attempt to explain the Veritasium falling ladder video problem. Got some chalk right there, that's fine. Um, so the, the video shows two ladders that are dropped and uh, they're falling together, A and B. I put them backwards because I have no idea why I did that. Um, and one of the ladders just keeps falling and the other one hits a table. So the bottom part starts hitting a table and the question is which one's gonna hit the which one's going to fall faster, which is going to have a greater acceleration. Um, so let's look at a free falling ladder that does not, does not hit a table. If I take any particular rung on that ladder, the rungs are tilted. Did I say that? That is important. The rungs are tilted. Uh, if I take any particular rung, there's a gravitational force pulling it down of value mg. And so since there's a downward gravitational force, this will accelerate downward at negative 9.8 meters per second squared. This one also has a gravitational force and it also accelerates downward at negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So since they're all accelerating the same, there's no tension uh, in these strings. Strings are a force of constraint. They apply uh, a force if, only if, there's uh, the things try to get further apart than the, the, the set length. But they don't because they're, they have the same acceleration. Okay. So this falls at negative 9.8 meters per second squared down. That's the acceleration. Okay, now what about the case where it hits the table? Something amazing happens. Well, I mean, it's not amazing. It's kind of a surprising, surprising. So when, because the, the rung is tilted, one side of the rung hits the table before the other side. So that's going to exert an upwards force. Now, forces do two things. They change the momentum of an object and they change the angular momentum of an object. So if you apply a force uh, at a, some particular point, it's going to change the rotational motion. So this is going to want to rotate. And when it rotates, now this side of the rung is going to want to be further away from this than that set length and it will pull on the string. So this will have a tension because this hits and it wants to rotate up and that wants to rotate down about the center mass. If this rotates down and pulls on that, then this is gonna have two forces on it, the downward gravitational force and a force from the tension. And that's gonna cause a tension in these ropes, tension in those ropes, tension all the way up. So every time it hits, it gets a little boost. Now, but what about the other side? The other side hits too. Yes, the other side hits, but by that time it's too late right? The whole little bottom rung thing's already on the ground, so it doesn't matter. Now, I want to model this in Python. I haven't done that yet, and I don't know that it will work, but I want to make it work. So, okay, so I also have this. I made a little physical model. You know, you don't really understand something unless you can model it. And so here's a physical model. It's not going to work the same, but you can imagine when this hits the table, it's going to rotate up, and you'll notice this becomes slack and that becomes tight and that's actually going to pull it down. So that's how it happens. This comes down, pulls up, this pulls down and the whole rung speeds up a little bit. It's a great problem. Really it is. It's, it's ingenious, but you've got to look. Why are those rungs tilted, right? That has to have something to do with it. And then you can kind of come up with this idea. And I could be wrong. Who knows? I've been wrong before plenty of times. You should watch that video though. And I'm sure he'll post a, a solution.